So, you love Veroni, and she loves you, but sometimes you just don't understand her. Not a problem. In the next two minutes, you and Veroni will understand each other intimately. Alright, let's do this. Shift A, S, Veroni. Okay, so by default you'll see this microbe cell wall looking thing. Now intensity just means things will be shaded in black and white. If you change it to color, it removes all shading and fills each cell with a solid color. So if you look closely, you'll see the shape of the patterns are the same. The only difference is that one is in full color while the other is shaded black and white. If you want to change the actual pattern, you're gonna have to go down here and pick one of the four options. Manhattan, which looks like a bunch of plus signs. Chebby Chev, which looks like a bunch of X's, and Minkowski, which is like Manhattan but sharper. Now it's much easier to see the differences if we set things to color mode. So again, we have Distance, Manhattan, Chebby Chev, and Minkowski. Now, lastly, the shading is controlled by the last option here. All right, so all you need to know is that Closest and Crackle are opposite. Keep your eye on this cell right here. What's the difference? See that? Closest shades the middle of the cell and leaves the walls white. But Crackle shades the walls and leaves the middle white. Like I said, opposite. Now second, third, and fourth closest just changes the shading. So if you compare closest with second closest, you'll notice they're the same shape, but the shading is different. Second divides each cell into smaller parts. If we go to third, it divides each cell again, and again for fourth. Lastly, increase in scale increases the number of cells in the picture, but makes them smaller. Okay, so those are the pieces, but how do you put them together? Well, the default distance and closest works really well for things like microscopic cell walls. If you set mode to crackle, you got a great base for dragon scales and stone wall patterns. If you use crackle in Manhattan, you get a great base for doing procedural cityscapes, and if you change the color into cells, it kind of looks like the map of a country. Last tutorial we used Minkowski set to crackle to create the base design for our procedural scratches, but you could have easily used Chebby Chev to make cross section style scratches instead. There's really no wrong way to use this stuff, so don't be afraid to mess around. Anyway, that is how you Boronoi. I hope that helps. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and most importantly, ring that bell. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around.